Swedish House Mafia is back. But is this legendary trio really good in DJing? Or are they just better producers? Look how brave. Yes, we're just three normal guys from the suburbs. What? Stop. Don't destroy the illusion. <laughs> well, in this video, I'm gonna break down the three best DJ tricks they do when they perform and teach you guys how to do those tricks yourself. So let's start this breakdown with a pretty cool routine they do when they start their sets. So with Steve Angelo handling the decks, Axwell and Sebastian Ingrosso hype their tracks build up by drumming alongside with it. Though drumming live is difficult, here's a stupidly easy way you can abuse the sequencer function on Recordbox DJ to make it sound like you're drumming in perfect rhythm and timing. So the first thing you want to do is download a sample pack with kicks, snares, claps, etc. And if you don't have samples, don't worry. You can download the one I use in this video for free down below. Next on Recordbox DJ, access your sampler section and load the hat sample here. Now if you access the sampler section on your controller, you can now do this. So drumming with your DJ sets is now possible. So if you want to hype up your tracks like a real performer, just drum your sample during a track's buildup. Now, for you guys out there who don't have perfect timing like me, here's how I would abuse the sequencer function on Recordbox DJ. To do this, make sure that Quantize and BPM Sync are activated on your sampler section and that the one bar selection is selected. Also ensure that the track you're planning to drum on is designated as master. Next, play your track and await its build-up section. Once you near it, press the sequencer recording button here. Now when you reach your build-up, just drum in a 4-beat rhythm. That sequence will be recorded and played back in perfect timing. And since usually buildups go for 32 to 64 beats, let that sequence play out till you reach the draw. Once you're there, simply press the sequence play button to stop the drum playback. Now the biggest key to pro DJing is DJing with high quality tracks with extended intros and outros. And pro DJs like myself and Swedish House Mafia download the tracks from DJ Record Pools. And you can think of DJ Record Pools as huge libraries of music of all genres where DJs can download all the tracks they could ever need. And the DJ Record Pool I subscribe to is Crate Connect. And you can get a huge discount on their services by using the coupon code DJ Carlo when you sign up on their site. Now let's move on to a pretty interesting way Steve Angelo accents his tracks with loops. So here's how you can do this DJ trick yourself with any controller and software. Sebastian Ingrosso, on the other hand, uses loops to end his sets.
And here's how you can do this trick yourself and end your sets like a pro. Here's how you can set up your vinyl break settings. Now before we end this video, comment down below a DJ who I should break down next and include a clover emoji in your comments so I know who you are. And with that said, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next one.